I must have drawn hundreds of these little cave bunny drawings uh, by now. Hi, I'm Mark, and Subliteral Network is my channel. I make art and comics, and uh, thank you for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and to leave your feedback in the comments. You can read my comics, uh, One of the Cave Bunny and Tiger Team 3, free at radiocomics.com. I post my art uh, daily, five days a week, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and uh, all these links are in my bio. Uh, this is a roundup of that work, in case you missed it, with a little more uh, detailed description added. Ink drawing of, um, well, this is a, like a Hooters girl who has spilled a bunch of beer on her t-shirt. And this is probably about as much as I should show uh, on YouTube, but it was a chance to get something in Procreate uh, and color it, paint it up as kind of a pinup style piece of work, which is I'm really trying to sharpen up my Procreate painting skills. Uh, I for there's a lot of tips and tricks. There's like a million of them, and sometimes I get like intimidated because you see what other people do, and it's just fan so fantastic looking. But to, you know, I'll, I'll get better as I go along. You know, I wanna just get involved with the process. And a lot of times I just think up tricks and techniques, you know, on my own, just through sheer uh, amount, the sheer amount of work that I end up doing on it. So I'm finding out that that's true. Uh, and, but I do want to continue to learn as much as possible from what other people have done. And I, I, I'm always looking up people's uh, techniques and their tutorials and stuff because procreate is somehow it's nearly limitless in what you can do with it and uh, i really enjoy it okay in that same picture you know it because I'm, i want to experiment and learn in it i decided to really render some food on it just to see what i could get i want to get like reflections in the glass i want to get a hamburger going and see if i can make it look like it's delicious or something and um, that is what I want to do with Procreate. I feel like it has such capabilities as a painting tool on its own. You know, never, never mind everything else that it can do. Uh, I think it's going to, one of those things is just going to take a lifetime to get everything out of the program. And even then, you know, I'll never get everything out of it, but I'm going to keep pushing it and I want to keep experimenting in it and, uh, just get as many techniques, uh, under my belt as possible with it. A very small K bunny drawing, uh, five and a half by uh, eight and a half inches on cardstock. This one was kind of nice because um, I was trying out a bunch of uh, just sort of rendering techniques and uh, styles of laying down ink lines. Uh, and it was often with these little drawings, that's more or less what I'm doing. I'm experimenting and I'm making up new techniques to use. When I draw Una the Cape Bunny, she has a, a specific design. She has a certain kind of hair, a certain number of, uh, of earrings and stuff, and a, kind of a lot more clothes on. So when I draw these informal just Cape Bunny drawings, I will multiply the number of things like earrings and piercings. Uh, scars and just kind of dress them a little differently. I'm always tempted to go back and redesign Una's clothes and I try to resist it because I want the character to look a certain way and have a consistency from comic to comic and I'm really split on that so I think maybe a solution is if I make a new a draw a new adventure of her I will just draw her a new costume for that adventure maybe a new haircut or something but I still want her to be identifiable it's something I constantly kind of struggle with. Pencil drawing, uh, eight and a half by 11 of a, a princess with a sword. And this is one of those pieces that happens just sort of by itself. You know, I'll have some paper hanging around and I'll just sketch out some stuff uh, because I have, maybe I haven't drawn for a while and I just want to start drawing something. Or maybe I have an idea and I sketch it out quickly and put it aside because I've got other work to do. Uh, so this is one of those, it was just a bare, a very uh, uh, simple sketch. There was no detail or anything, just a pose and a few lines. So later on, I took it out. I put like the, the petticoat coming off and the sword in, in her hand and the hair. Uh, I kind of filled out the hair and made it more part of the composition. And it's nice to be able to have something sitting there that you can just jump into and draw. Maybe you're not feeling sure uh, about what uh, you're doing or you're having a little problem or you just feel like drawing something, it's easier to jump in 
on a sketch that's kind of halfway there. And uh, this is where I left it. Uh, I'm going to ink it. You know, I might even come in and change the costume or change the sword or something. But these aren't drawings that have a, a defined purpose. They're drawings that I keep there to keep the flow going and to uh, keep me drawing. And uh, that's how this one came out. And uh, I kind of like it. I might just ink it as it is without any real, uh, without doing any real uh, major changes to it. A ballpoint robo girl sketch uh, just on some scrap paper. Drawing these robot girls is sort of a chance to combine organic shapes with somehow getting across a machine quality and that was the exercise for me I really wanted to not just make like a metal looking woman or a woman with um, a kind of fake skin and, and call her a robot on the outside but just graphically as soon as you look at the picture what you're seeing is you know it's a robot woman there's the you can see the robot you can see the woman and it's not uh, I wanted I want to really get practiced on that and there's a lot that it just you just really can start getting sort of sophisticated and artsy with it and the it stretches your ability to create this illusion and that is sort of you know when I do these ballpoint sketches that's sort of what I'm doing uh, before I get to working on finished pieces I'm working out ideas I'm trying to come up with uh, solutions to problems and make a picture that you can look, look at and know instantly sort of what's going on you know what you're looking at which is, that is something that I learned in illustration uh, class, is that when people look at a picture, they have to be instantly captivated by it to buy the product that it's uh, advertising, which is also, you know, a great exercise, even if you're not doing uh, uh, illustration work for products and publications, you still want your work to have that impact to instantly grab the viewer and take them in and give them a, an, under, an instant understanding of what they're looking at, which is great for the artist because you can start meandering around with your work and you wonder what's missing, there's a spark missing and uh, grabbing someone's attention gives you, you a purpose to the art that can focus you and help you to know what to include and what uh, to exclude from a picture. So uh, again, it is a great exercise uh, for the artist to do, I think.